Hello everyone, this is MD Ajizul Islam from University of Texas at Arlington. Today we will discuss about the experiment regarding determination of moisture content or water content of soil. Moisture content is an extremely important index for soil mechanics. The consistency of a fine grain soil largely depends on its water content. Moisture content is an essential term for establishing the relationship between the soil properties. The moisture content can be defined as the percentage of water present in the soil. It is the ratio of the mass of water to the mass of solids in a given soil sample. The definition can be easily understood from the phase diagram of soil. By dividing the soil into three phases, moisture content is the weight of water divided by the weight of soil solids. Moisture content will be zero if the soil is completely dry. For saturated soil, moisture content will be very high. When moisture content is expressed as a weight basis, it is called gravimetric moisture content. On the other hand, volumetric moisture content can be defined as the ratio of the volume of water to the total volume of soil sample. The bulk density of soil has relationship with both volumetric and gravimetric moisture content. There are some relationships for converting from volumetric moisture content to gravimetric moisture content. In this experiment, we will focus only on the gravimetric moisture content. The methods for measuring moisture content can be divided into two parts, direct method and indirect method. There are some indirect indicators of soil properties such as electrical resistivity or thermal properties which can be correlated with moisture content through some empirical formulas. The direct method is comparatively simple, easy and straightforward. However, the direct method has some disadvantages such as it is destructive, time consuming and requires precision balance and oven. Despite of these disadvantages, the direct method is one of the most popular method. For this experiment, we will follow the direct method. The amount of sample size needed for this experiment depends on the maximum particle size. Usually, for particle size smaller than 4.75 mm, we need to take minimum of 20 gram soil sample. At the beginning, the weight of the moist soil needs to be recorded. Then the sample will be put in oven for 24 hours at a temperature between 110 to 120 degrees Celsius. After that, the weight of the dry soil needs to be recorded. Moisture content can be determined dividing the weight of water with the weight of dry soil. The detailed procedure for this experiment has been discussed in the demonstration video. Knowledge of moisture content of soil is useful for any practical field projects. For example, while constructing the sub-base of a road, certain moisture content needs to be maintained for obtaining maximum density. Moisture intrusion is also an important phenomenon for highways since infiltrated water can cause different types of distress in the top surface of the pavement. For the final cover of a landfill, moisture infiltration needs to be strictly controlled to minimize leachate generation. For these types of applications, regular monitoring of soil moisture content is essential. Here are the some YouTube video links which will be helpful for in-depth concept of this experiment. 
Thank you for listening this lecture. Hope to see you in the next experiment.